Welcome back to another Worker Wednesday where we are resuming work on our brand new expansion to the south over here. Very excited for today's session because we are maybe finally going to see work begin on some of these construction sites. Now, there were some really great uh, thoughts put forward by many of you in the comments that I will be addressing and trying to uh, take care of, obviously, first. But hopefully the first few construction vehicles will be making their way over down south sooner rather than later. With that said, I just want to mention, as always, folks, if you've been enjoying the series and you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. It makes such a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. And plus, I love reading through the comments. You will always have interesting ideas, suggestions, and thoughts. And uh, many times you'll point out things that I completely missed or, you know, just happened to uh, forget or stop paying attention to, which is always extremely helpful uh, and like I said again it's always just fun for me to read through the comments now one of the things that was pointed out before we head down south one of the things that was pointed out is that we might actually be hmm out of clothes over here now if I remember correctly <laughs> I think I'd sent now you're coming in from the cargo station to the small barn I was yes this is the problem I stopped I, I forgot to unassign uh, this vehicle um, and it's just been exporting all of the clothes from the small barn to, uh, the customs house, and that is, uh, foolish of me. So, I think that's why this area has been left without clothes for a little while. Now, I don't know if it's become a problem yet. It's starting to become a problem. It is starting to become a problem. So, it's okay. We've spotted it in time, I would say. We don't have any clothes over here. That's really kind of a bummer. Oh, man. Uh, this ship is currently headed where? Okay, Th this ship is just about to arrive with 3.5 tons of clothes. So at least some clothing will arrive. Uh, and I don't think we have any crops over here, unfortunately. We have a little bit. Okay, so I mean, what I might do is I might force it back to uh, Cezales. Oh, not Cezales, but back to uh, Vecherinkograd. I should name this port something. Um, but but I, I, I might need to send it back there rather than export, you know, across the border. We're carrying a little bit of steel, a fair bit of bricks. I mean, it, it, it's a fair value what we're carrying right now, but money's not really the concern. The concern is the, the needs of the people. So what I'm thinking is, all right, the ship will come here. It'll pick up the crops, drop off some clothes, go up there, drop off the crops, and then rather than it go out to the border, I will send it to the dock here to hopefully pick up some more clothes especially. Oh, man, clothing is not coming here at a very quick rate now, is it? What's the deal here? What's going on? Got a fair number of clothes here. Are you headed to pick clothes up? You are. Yeah. But clothing, I guess, in that case, is not being produced quickly enough. Must be the problem. Gotta be the issue here. Which is strange, because we were it was it was all going so smoothly for so long. It might have just been a matter of timing where um where you know all the trucks must have come at the same time to take clothes back to uh to Veteran Kagrat. Like if we take a look around over here. Uh, we've got plenty of clothes over here, 11 tons plus over here. We have all the clothes we need, and over here we have all the clothes we need. So yeah, it might have just been a matter of timing, folks, where the clothes were all gone when that train arrived, and now it's happening again. As a result of that, we are not uh, able to uh, ship enough clothes across the river. Well, we'll we'll hopefully sort that out, but uh, good, good spot. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that for sure at Brixtonia. The other thing that's been pointed out is that I should maybe be considering using some more mods over here. Um, so first of all, yes, there are three shifts. So when a worker, when, when a place says it requires, you know, 300 workers, it actually requires 900 workers because three shifts to work at full efficiency throughout the day. So uh, some of y'all I think did the math. This should actually take us 2000 workers, uh, not what I was quoting earlier, which if I'm honest, I've completely forgotten now. So what I might actually want to do is let's go ahead and demolish uh, some of these constructions. And we'll see. I I, I, uh, I got some mods, and I want to see if those mods will work better. Go ahead and get rid of some of these. Uh, get rid of the roads as well. Get rid of all the sidewalks and everything. Uh, just because, again, I want to make sure I have all the room I need uh, without the infrastructure blocking my way. We'll hit play in a moment's time. And the other thing I want to do as well is uh, build our um, rail construction station. Or rail construction yard. And the way I want to do that is, I think... It's gonna be it's gonna be strange. So the tracks, if we build a tunnel, which is where? There. We build a tunnel through here. Pretty cool. Um first of all, it's just 
really cool to be able to build a tunnel like that. We can pop you out over there, and then maybe you go around this. So let's see if that's a possibility. So if you go straight out like this, and you go straight out like this, right? They're right next to each other. Excellent. And then we build the electrified rail, and you go... I mean, there's a couple of ways we can play this. I think what I want to do is, yeah, pull you straight out, and then flip around this a little bit. There we go. Pull you along for the... Whoa. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I love when the game is just willing to put things down that you clearly didn't mean. I'll pop you over to there. Now, are you able to continue over here? Might do a little bit of flattening. Okay. It's okay. Again, this is an industrial construction. This is not a rural construction, so I'm fine with modifying the train a little bit. Or the, the terrain, not the train. Good pun, though. All right, let's go. Straight down that way. And make sure that you're attached properly. Straight down this way. All right. So the idea is um, I want to connect this to our, you know, main area. I wonder if, I mean, I could make this more than just a, you know, three-way junction. I could make this a four-way junction. That sounds like a nightmare, though. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to do that. My other thinking was that I would just pull out from here so that power would get transferred. And then somewhere over here, we would build our rail construction yard. Um, so just to show you what I mean, let's see if I do that. Come on, now hopefully you don't have to flatten too much. And again, it's not like we have too much industrial stuff to build up over here, I don't think. Wow, I have to flatten all the way down to there, eh? Okay, fair enough. Let's do that. Now let's get you down over here as well. All right. Like we might build some gravel uh, mines and stuff over here, like some quarries and whatnot over here. But uh, we don't need too much over here. And if we do, we can always build one of those road crossings or anything. There's, there's countless options. Uh, anyway, so over here, what I could do is if a train needs to come here, how would I like it to do that? Man, I, I don't even know where to begin with making a... Um, for like a an additional crossing over here if I was going to do that. Overlaps with existing construction. Hmm. I don't know if I've set myself up for, for failure over here. I don't I don't think I have. Let's let's not use such strong words. <laughs> uh, I think what we do is a train would come through, go through this section, and then pull down to here. So let's go ahead and, and work on that. So here we're gonna go ahead and build Let's see, how do I make this work? So if I pull you up to here, you sharp of a turn, so I gotta pull back a little bit, I think. What I might need to do is something like this. Yeah, like do that. Uh, I might wanna make that a bit smoother. If I can do something like that, there we go. And then you'd come up this way. Mm. Trying to figure out... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and pull you up to here. We're going to extend this out. Not that I think we need it necessarily. This would connect all the way there. Kind of funky over here, actually. Not sure how that works. Come on now. Cancel you. Cancel you all the way down to here. Let's check that again. Do this. There we go. Much better. Nope. Still, still acting funky over here. Go up to here, and now angle too sharp. Okay, let's do that. This is rarely used anyway. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this, and then we need connections in the other direction as well. Well, not really. I guess. Well, I guess if a train comes around this way, make life easier. Um. So right to right. And then this would, I'm like, I'm double checking my work over here. You connect that way. So right, to right, and then right to right, right, right. Okay, so right to right. Too sharp of a turn. All right, I might need to pull back a little bit further. I think I'm doing this right. Correctly. The word right is starting to sound so strange now. Come on now. There we go. So if I go ahead and pull you back a little bit further, well, let's go ahead and pull back all the way to here. Let's go all the way back to there. So from the right side here, connect to the right side there. All right. 
And from the right side here, connect to the right side. There. Oh my god. Why? Why you do this to me, game? Pull back even further. Like, I want it to look at least somewhat dignified. <laughs> um, let's see if we do... We can do that. This little, like, weird jankiness over there is killing me. Let's see. Pull you back to, say, here. Alright. Pull this all the way back to there and there. Because then what we can do is we can very smoothly transition to connect to this. There we go. That's a bit more acceptable. And then from over, what, like here, I guess, we would do this connection. Right, and you would come through this way over to here. Left side to... Oh, God. This is one I don't understand. There we go. And then from here to there. All right. You know what? That's uh, not terrible. This is going to be a bit of a mess, <laughs> but it's not terrible. Not terrible. So what I need to do is I need to build a rail construction office. If I can find you. Where are you? Rail, road, electrical connection. I guess you're under construction offices. Because I want to get this going more or less right away. Um, there we go. Construction related rail construction office. So again, we need to bring it steel, bricks, boards. I believe it's just steel and boards that we need for our track. Let me just check here. Uh, if I were to put you down, steel, gravel, prefab panels. Oh, okay. And electronic components. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. At least steel we can bring in. Gravel we're, I guess, buying, aren't we? Yeah, gravel we're buying. So it'll be a little bit of money wasted there, I guess. But not the end of the world. Um, I could... Well, no, not until these uh, bridges are done. I was saying I could bring some gravel down via train, but uh, not until the bridges are done. And prefab panels we're buying, but prefab panels are pretty cheap. All right, fair enough. So uh, let's go ahead and put the construction office down. And what I'm thinking is we put it down, say, like over here. Gives us a direct connection to the warehouse for electronic components. Not, you know, the most important of uh, automatic connections, but... It's something. Also give us... Hmm, would not be able to connect to the gravel. Uh, actually, I guess if we do, let's see. If we do something like... This, we might be able to. It'll be a little bit messy, but let's try this, alright? Let's go ahead and do... Go ahead and put you down over here. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this. Let's go ahead and put you down over here, alright? Uh, we need to get our mod. By the way, I've got a lot more mods now for uh, construction of... I think I mentioned this already for the residential area we're building, so I'm excited to cover some of those. Uh, but for now, let's stay focused over here. If we get the conveyor belt... There we go. Um, no, not the conveyor. Sorry. The factory connection. No. Not this. Forklift facility. No. Wait. No. There we go. All right, so... So if I do this, I need to build a uh, forklift um, uh, warehouse or whatever it's called, don't I? I mean, electronic... You know what? Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We will flip you back around. I'm going to go ahead and hit play for a second because now I have to. There we go. If I do... this instead. Nah. You know what? I'm not going to flip it around. Can keep it over here? Sorry. Because what I'll, what I'll just do is, rather than have those factory connections, I will have a truck um, go over to here, pick up electronic components and steel. I guess it'll have to be two separate trucks and then come down over here. It's not that much of a trip, so it's fine, I guess. Um, not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, what I do want to try and organize, though, is the conveyor belts. If I could get the conveyor belts um, that's not gonna work, is it? Let's see if we can see if we can do this, cause cause then gravel at least becomes something that uh, isn't a challenge to bring. So you'll connect there. I wonder if we could connect 
you here. Let's see. Alright. This is where it becomes a bit of a challenge. This is where it becomes a bit of a challenge. So let's see. Let's see if, if we do, let's say, something like this. It's not going to let me. Alright, if we do something like this, maybe it'll let me. Probably not. I might. It might just need to be trucks, which is not the end of the world. Yeah, you know what? This is too much of a hassle for something which really isn't that much of a struggle. Not, not, not a necessity. You know, I'm just, I'm overdoing it at this point. We get rid of all that. Um, I do need to get a road connection though. Make it an asphalt road. I might just pay for all this. If I do that and that, right? Got an unpause real quick. There we go. So this will be connected, and I need to get um, tracks done. So let's go ahead and remove you. Thank you. Let's get these tracks done. Just wooden, wooden tracks over here, because I don't want to have to supply electricity or anything. We're going to connect you. That's the question. What about the middle section? <laughs> what about the middle section? I guess I'll pay for that. I get you over to there. Get you over to here. Get you over to here. Here. Too steep of an incline, are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, game. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a joke. Okay, okay. Not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world, because what I can do is... I can just do... Something like this, I'm... Sure. There we go. Do that. Well. Sorry, I connected the wrong one there. Need to be here to here, and from here to here. Not that it matters, these are all temporary anyway. Uh, so, we're going to pay for this, we'll just, whatever, it's it's less than 100k, it's not that expensive. Pay for the roads, pay for this, pay for the wooden tracks as well, which it looks like is actually a little broken over here, not, not really sure what's going on there. Make sure that's fixed, please. Yeah. Demolish a bit more there. Come on now. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll pay for that, pay for that, pay for that, pay for the wooden tracks, get some construction vehicles, get some trucks to ship stuff over to here, and uh, we can get to work on this track section at the very least. Because it'll take a long time to build. So I want to get that started right away, because again, the plan is uh, we get this happening at the same time that these residential things we uh, build, and these guys will help build up this area, and then those guys will all help build up this area, and then uh, as that's being done, we're going to be planning this and this. So I want to make sure the tracks are being done as we're doing that. So there's no delay down the line. So there's no delay down the line. Um, now, with all that said, um, what else was there? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just plotting my demise, my world conquest power down here. I mean, one, actually, one of the first things I might want to do is get these guys to build a power plant. Um, or I can just draw more power from, you know, party power down to here temporarily, if if, if nothing else. Uh, right, one last thing I wanted to check. Many of you were suggesting, am I bringing fuel in over here? I am not. Good catch. Let's go ahead and get some fuel coming in over here. Just to make sure the ship never ends up dead in the water. That would be a problem. That would be quite a problem. All right, we're buying fuel there and we're buying fuel here as well. Yes, so... Shouldn't ever cause any issues, but just in case. All right, I think we're good to hit play. We're at 5.3 million, so money is a non-issue right now. Unemployment is, you know, where it's been for the last little while, but when we start getting these things done and move people down here, that'll uh, ease the pressure of unemployment a little bit. We'll have some actual jobs for people. And uh, apart from that, if we take a look at our economy, making money, making money this year so far. Oh my God, we've made a lot of money this year. That's great. That is fantastic. And if we take a look at our imports this year, we have reduced our imports. No, not importing electronics. Oh, no, we are. We are. Okay. Not importing as much what? I wish you could see a side-by-side -side comparison without having to flip back and forth. Nonetheless, the imports have been reduced. So, uh... Well, we're only a quarter of the way through the year. Anyway, let's hit play. Time move forward. And again, got to keep an eye on that boat to make sure it goes back there and hopefully picks up some more clothes. Um, Cause yeah, four tons of clothes isn't gonna last us very long. All right, let us go ahead and um, commission you. 
get you built. Now let's get you built. Go ahead and get you built as well. Then I want to go ahead and am I commissioning the tracks? Man, this is a this is a big rail project. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. And looking at your comments, there doesn't seem to be any issues that I, I missed unless I missed a comment or something. So hopefully you know, we're fine here. I'm not about to spend over 1.5 million on this project. So we're going to go ahead and yeah, commission that. Uh, let's go ahead and pay for these though. Right, again, they're just, they're just wood. It's not a big, uh, unlike, uh, not a big expense to us. So that's good. We need to go ahead and get some trucks, though. So we've already got the one that's coming back over here. Which I'd love to be able to find it easily. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? I know I dismissed you. Oh, are you still... Oh, there you are. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Well, this is the thing that's gonna be shipping electronic components, so that is what it is. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... What? We need something for gravel. Uh, I believe this is probably the best pick for that. Yep, and we need something for steel. That's an open hull. Trying to get very familiar with the options here. So there. You will start over here. You're going to pick up steel. I can do steel and prefab panels. And then you go over here to unload it all. We could do that. Sure, let's get you started. And then you, my good friend, you're going to go over to here. You're going to pick up gravel. You're going to go over here. You're going to unload gravel. Right. That should be working okay. Now, you're stuck over here for some reason. I don't know why. You're trying to do what? You're trying to get back to your rail construction office, it looks like. And you can't. Why can't you? Is it because of the new tracks we just put down? It's quite possible. Let's see if I right side put this down over here. And if I put this down over here, that should do the trick. I wish I could see exactly where the issue lies. It says it's over here. Now, don't quite follow why that would be the issue. Got semaphores all the way over here, right? No, we don't actually. Okay, interesting. Got semaphores up to there. Kind of go back. Hmm. Well, you know, one of the solutions I like to use is uh, this one. <laughs> Let's do that for now. Uh, all right, so this is all done. We've got all this working. I should maybe start upgrading some of these roads. Let's go ahead and auto build. Upgrade these guys to asphalt. Um... Just because this has been, these have been mud roads and dirt roads for so long, just doesn't make sense. Especially now that we're, you know, getting a bit more serious with some of the construction happening over here. Get you over to there. There we go. Should keep the uh, rail construction going smoothly. There. And we can do this as well. Stay above that 5 million mark. Sure, why not? I'd like to eventually connect this as well, but no rush there. So now the truck should be moving a lot more smoothly in this area as well. And you know what? Actually, it bothers me, so let's go ahead and get you done as well. Cool. And let's turn off auto build before I make a colossal mistake. Done. Beautiful. 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 And you we need to buy... Not resources. You know, I could just actually be buying gravel here rather than shipping it from there to there. But I guess eventually... This is, this is good for, for eventually. Um, what am I looking at? Buy a new vehicle or mechanism. I believe this was our best option. Go ahead and buy a pair of you. Go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and assign these constructions. Steel has arrived. Prefab panels have arrived. Gravel has arrived. Electronic components have not arrived. Where is that truck? Is that you? Excellent. Perfect timing. You go here. You go here. Let's get you started. You're going to load electronic components. You're going to unload electronic components. Cool. And then we should have enough to get the party started, so to speak. That'll be good. We need some fuel over here, though. Go ahead and get the fuel going. 
No workers. Ah, yes. Workers, I forgot. Forgot about that little, uh, tiny little bit of, uh, extremely crucial information. Now, what's the pro Okay, what's the problem with you, actually? You go all the way to there, and then you get stuck. Why don't you transfer down to there? Let me see something. Let this go by. You know, it's gonna get stuck there. Weird. I guess it's just kind of stuck over here. Do that. Oh, strange. Didn't even disappear. Oh, because it's at road 508. Okay, so the problem area is this. Interesting. We'll, we'll sort that out eventually. We'll sort that out. Alright. Um, as the sun is setting, we've got all this going. We need to get workers down there. So now the question becomes, I don't know if we have any free uh, workers, if I'm honest. I might need to put down... Like, I don't think unemployment is an issue down over here. One worker without a job. Four workers without a job. One without a job. It's only a couple people who are jobless over here. Ooh, 11 people without a job over there. Eight without a job. Okay. So where are you guys going off to? Let's get you... Well, you're fine. Ten workers without a job. These guys are all going to these schools and stuff. I guess I could add... The building is too distant. Oh. Guess that's the problem with these guys. They're neither here nor there. Well, you should be able to get to here. I might need to add some more um, small houses over here. Br bring some people over, obviously. Add some houses over here as well. All this to get the tracks going. I mean, this is part of what I love about this game is that nothing is too easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could just build those tracks, but if you wanna, if you wanna do it yourself becomes a bit of an undertaking. So where are our residential options? Um, what are we, 31 workers in these, right? I want to put down... I'm over here. I think we can just pay for this. Pop you down over there. Pop another one down over here, perhaps. And then bring some, uh, bring some people in from, uh, Veteran Kukret. That'll be good, and I think the road can still fit through over here. Yes, I want to make sure that uh, we still have access over here. And let me just check here. Are we able to? Yes, we are. Escape back there, basically. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and pay for you guys. Less than 10k is not a problem. This road's built as well. Let's go ahead and get some people down here. We've got a lot of unemployment up at Veterinkograd, which I want to solve. Right now, it's still causing some issues. I need to take a look at power distribution and things like that. Um, but that... That will wait a little bit. Let's go ahead and move you guys down over here. Ten citizens down to here. So 20 each. Send you guys over there. Another fire. Send you guys over here. Uh, I do need to get a hospital and fire station down over here. So uh, thank you for pointing that out. I did completely forget about that. But fear not, I have some plans for uh, hospital and, and, and fire uh, down there. Okay, so we've got... 40 new people, approximately, right? Um, you come here, you drop people off at Rurulinski. I need to get... How many people down here? 80 people. Well, that's... We don't need 80 people. Yes, we do. These. Okay. Go ahead and get ourselves another bus. Probably get you. A bit slower, but... One full trip with one of these will do the trick. Not that I, I doubt I'll get a full trip, but, you know, it's the hope. You go there, and then you come back over here. Anybody you pick up is going straight to work. Down over here. Alright, and hopefully we can get to work. It's gonna be essential. These guys might actually get involved in some of this construction as well, which is great. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. The bridges are almost done. Oh, man. Yeah, this bridge is almost done. And then we can, you know, if we just pay for some of this stuff, we can start bringing gravel down so we can stop importing it. We have way too much food here. And where's our ship? Let you get away from me, didn't I? Well, 
We're almost done. Now let's let's ship you over here. Let's get you going. A couple bricks aren't gonna make a world of difference. Still only 1.13 tons of clothes, eh? What's going on here? What is going on here? No jamming or anything. I really think it's just a matter of uh, timing, but I'm wondering now if I'm undervaluing just how off it is. Where are you? You're heading over. There's lots of things are getting stuck at this crossing over here. Wondering if I should build a bridge over here instead so the trains don't cause any blockages. But take a look at my semaphores here. I wonder if, actually, let's do this. Do that instead and get rid of these. Then I think the vehicle should be able to move through a bit more smoothly. Find out, I guess, but I hope that does the trick. Clothing was going so smoothly up until just recently. I don't want that to become a problem now. All right, let's go ahead and add some more houses down here, though, because this is uh, not going to be enough. This is not going to be enough. Add a blue one. Right over here. A nice little, little na neighborhood we've got going on. Um, let's add a... Which one? You? Um, get a purple one. Purple's a nice, nice color. Put you down over here. All right, pay for these guys as well. Again, we're just under five mil, but it's okay. We'll make that money back in, quote-unquote, no time, so to speak. You're all sending your people to the Brixtonia bus stop number two. All right, great. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some more unemployed. 21 workers without a job. 20 without a job. Close enough. Relocate. A pair of you. Where, where, where are we? There we go. Let's one click each. And let's go ahead and find another spot where people are jobless. These guys are having some trouble. I need to take care of their happiness soon. It's funny how, like, varied it is. Some places are super happy, some places are super upset. It's like there's no in-between. There's no in-between. Alright, let's go ahead and get you guys moving over there. Go ahead and get you guys moving over there. Now, everything is in walking distance, so we should be fine in terms of needs down over here. Not able to enjoy culture, pubs, or taverns. Alright, I guess we'll need to add a pub or tavern somewhere in the area. This is the only... <laughs> nope, that's a kindergarten. That's the only... Where? There it is. Only type of alcohol they have access to, I guess. These guys do not have access to that. Alright, so we'll add a pub over here eventually, I guess. How many... Okay, good. I was like, are we limited to 37 workers? No, we are not. Alright, so hopefully... Hopefully... A bus with some workers is coming over here right now. If I could even see, I can't. There it is. All right. 44 workers about to arrive. I just want to see if they actually head out and, and get to work right away. Or if there's something else that's causing any issues. No issues according to the game. you all about to head out. Got everything you need, right? You need bricks and boards for these? I don't think so. Gravel, prefab panels, we got them. Steel, we got it. Electronic, oh, there we go. Nice. Wonderful, I guess they were just loading up. Cool, and I guess it'll work in tandem. That's rather, that's rather neat, actually. That's also kind of nice, seeing them go out like that. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Great, so we're going to see some progress over here now. This is good. This is It's a good thing to get this done now, get it started early on, so that when, uh, you know, worst case scenario, if everything else is done and we're just waiting for the train construction, the, the, the track construction, rather, it'll be super cheap for us to do, uh, you know, just a couple of sections of track rather than an entire, you know, one and a half million dollar or one and a half million ruble section of, of track. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Awesome. Cool. Definitely glad I... I, I 
took that on. Uh, so this should be fine then. Hopefully unemployment doesn't start becoming a problem all of a sudden. Uh, but between sending people down over here and up over there, we should be fine. Over here, what's the deal now? Not enough crops coming through. Done the harvest already. I guess 40 tons went down here already, as we saw. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This is, um... I mean, I guess I could put down some more fields. Right? We've got room for some more fields down there. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Do we have a way to connect? Yeah, we can go over this way. Sure. Let's go ahead and get that going. Um, where are we? Fields. Food and crop related, big field. I guess I might need to do some medium fields instead. To flatten the train here. That would be unfortunate. Uh hmm. Yeah, I might need to flatten the train. Alright, fair enough. Or we can do this. Alright, so if I pop you down over here. Let's see. Put you down over there. If I put you down over here. Put another one down over here. Let's see if we can get the roads to connect. Oh, come on. Come on, this is enough room. Some other infrastructure's in the way. Okay, well that's fine, because we've got this connection over here we can do instead. Extend you a little bit. Well, you got this way, and I might actually replace all this with uh, with gravel. All these dirt roads. Because it does make a big difference, especially when they're going so far off. How big's a small field now? Hmm. I guess I could fit a small field up in here. There, get another one over here, perhaps. The thing about small fields is there's a limit to how many um, fields one farm or anything can uh, can tend to. Just got to be careful about that. Pull this up a little bit more. Hopefully it'll allow me to get a straight connection over here. Excellent. This kind of a thing. Beautiful. You're all connected. Connecting this might be a little bit of a pain. Find out. Moment of truth, I guess. Do this. This won't sneak through here, for sure. Yeah. Let's connect you over here. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we can assign to this. If I add... Alright, cool. Good. So they're gonna go out. They're gonna start sewing. Um, it'll take time, but uh, at least the work will get done. Let's go ahead and upgrade these roads. Make them gravel. Speed difference is relatively significant, but most of these vehicles are pretty slow as well. Um, I want to auto build. Oh. See this thing pick up in speed, if it even does. I turn around and start zipping by. Barely. What is your max speed? What is your max speed? It's going at 33. Can't go any faster than that. That's adorable. The trucks, though. The trucks can go a lot faster. These are still very much worth it. There we go. For when the harvest happens. Pull you all the way down here. And again, it's it's not, not that expensive. I say that as we go below 4.6. Hmm. Maybe I should be a bit more wary of uh, tempting fate. Coming through with steel and bricks. Honestly, do we even need steel and bricks down over here? I'm tempted to just send that thing off to export. We don't need any of that. Go. Go do exports. Make us some money. We can offset our arrival of, of things. I, I need to get clothes, though. Clothes are becoming a pain. And a big part of it is I think the vehicles that are dropping loads off over here. They're just overpowering. They're moving faster than the train is. 
And what I could do is I could come to the shopping center and then after the shopping center, send them down over here to unload as well. Right, so that way, any excess, like, oh my god, look at that, 178 tons of clothes. I don't, what are you doing here? Let's see, who is bringing clothes? All food, food, there we go, clothes. What about you, food? How can you bring so many, so many clothes? All right, so in that case, where is that vehicle? None of you. No, wait, this is the university. My bad. Sorry. And over here, we've got our buddy here bringing in clothes. So don't go to the clothing factory then. You should be going instead to here to pick up the clothes. Get the clothing factory out of your way. So, okay, I want you to load clothes at the cargo station. I want you to come down to the shopping center to drop them off. I'm not waiting until you unload it. And then I want you to go to the warehouse to drop them off. That's the Zalus. Why are you stuck here? What's the issue here? Oh, the road here hasn't been built. Right, I kind of suspended the construction here a while ago, didn't I? There we go. How about now? You good? There we go. Yes. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Glad I checked. Okay, so that should help with clothes because my god, we literally have... How many, how many tons was it? We have 178 tons of clothes just sitting here doing nothing. So that, that'll hopefully help at least ship some clothes down here. Alright, great. Glad we solved that. Rail construction is ongoing. It'll take its sweet time, but at least it's happening. And this is being auto-assigned, looks like, so that's great. Cutting down trees over here, so... Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Now, <laughs> back to what I was initially going to do this entire session. But that's just how this game works, I guess. You know, you, you, you try to do one thing, it ends up having this domino effect of 100 things. So I got some new um, modded buildings here, and I checked the dates. Most of these things were built... Uh, like a lot of these mods, what I love about these mods is a lot of them are based on actual historical construction dates and stuff. And I checked, uh, all of these are, like, they began being built in, like, the 80s and things like that. So, I don't feel like I'm being cheesy or anything by building some of these bigger structures, because a lot of the game's structures feel very dated for, you know, the early 80s, the late 90s, and things like that as we, as we move forward. So I am looking forward to putting some of these bigger beasts down that can fit, you know, like 500, 400 workers in. Uh, but they are, as you can see, bigger beasts. Oh, they look so dope, though. Look at that. Look at that. But, you know, it's, uh, it's a good idea to get some of these bigger things going. So we can fit some more people in, I think. If we can fit these buildings in, though, is the, is the thing. Like, where this is going, for 550 workers, we would be able to put down maybe three of the 100 worker um, buildings. So, you know, it, it, it's not bad. Over here, can we fit you in? You fit how many? You fit about 400 workers. Can we fit you in over here, perhaps? Maybe? 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 Maybe. No. How about you? You're a bit smaller. Oh, so close. And yet so far. So close and yet so very, very far. Oh, there we go. Alright, okay, we got a spot over here. Might just be able to fit the one, but... If I, you're not auto-building, let's pop you down. Plus, it's cool to have a variety of buildings. So that's 400 workers, where I was initially only able to fit 300. So we do that, and we blend it with our more classic buildings. 75 workers, 48, 100, and, no, these guys are too big. These guys are too big. You're way too big as well. There we go. Can I fit you in here, 127 workers? Nah, you're a little too chunky, aren't you? A little too chunky? Yep. What about you? So you, 97 workers. Now let's go ahead and pop you down over here. And put another one down? Nah. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. Um, nah, okay, it's fine. So now we've got 500 people fitting over here as opposed to, you know, 100. And plus, like, it looks the part as well. So again, I, I don't feel like... 
it's being, you know, cheesy or anything. Uh, that's something I was very wary about. Some of you were asking, like, why aren't you using more mods? And that's kind of why. Some of the mods in the workshop are like, hey, yeah, this, um, I don't know, this iron mine now works automatically. You don't need any workers for it. And to me, that feels like, well, that's part of the challenge. So I understand, I, I, no judgment against people who like that. That's perfectly cool that you have an option. But for me personally, I feel like, well, that feels a little cheesy. Or there were some which is like, oh yeah, this steel mill, um, requires the same amount of resources, same amount of workers, but it produces, you know, thrice as much, uh, steel. And I'm like, what? That's, <laughs> that's cheating. Uh, cheating's a strong word, but you know what I mean, right? So that's why I'm being a bit picky about mods, which is why I'm doing my research before I, you know, pick something like this, which, again, it's got a bigger footprint. Uh, it, uh, costs more resources to build as well. So I don't feel like we're, you know, uh, being cheesy. And plus the, uh, the the dates line up as well. So we're we're not breaking our historical connections either. Go ahead and build this. Let's go ahead and connect you over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now the problem becomes, uh, are these guys going to be sustainable over here? Right? Like, do we have enough uh, in the area to supply all these people? That's going to become the problem. Uh, with that said, though, should I assign this construction? I'm wondering, do I want to... Let's go ahead and get the construction offices working on you and on you. Let's get you working on you and you. And let's go ahead and get, where's the other one? You working on you and you. Now, what is this road they all seem to be working on? Road 533. Oh, this one. Right. So that's an important construction. In fact, is it mostly done? Been doing it for a while. Yeah, you know, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's about 33% of the way done. Better than I would have expected. All right, cool. So, housing being taken care of. Uh, I need to get power down here, though. And that's the thing. Do we... Like, how long can people go without power? Well, if Toronto is a good example, anytime we have a snowstorm, people can go on for months without power. Um which is messed up, but uh, just trying to figure out, because if we get these people down over here, and if the first thing they work on is the power plant, then we can import coal, and we can start building our power infrastructure over here, rather than waiting, or rather than pulling from uh, party power, and then, and then having to rejig that. I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's okay. So I wonder if we pick up our speed over here, do a bit more planning in the area. Hmm, let's see. I could do a bit more planning in the area at double speed. We need to get a hospital. Initially, what I was going to do is I was going to put the fire station down over here. Uh, but, it's starting to feel like we can just put a fire station down over here. Since we need less, you know, we, we don't need to have a bunch of these with a massive footprint. What I could probably do is, let's go ahead and double speed it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our construction options. So if I want to go ahead and do what? Is it equipment? No, it's not under equipment. Fire stations, fire stations. Where would you be? Oh, one thing that was pointed out to me was that the um, vehicle production line is huge. Okay, that is huge. And the railway production line, also pretty massive. Oh, right. This reminds me. This reminds me parking lots and I got a bunch of parking lots I got a bunch of parking lots and we will need them again the footprints right, let's let's slow it down a bit these footprints perpendicular parking I can maybe tuck one in over here yeah get a road connection though don't tell me it's too steep I'm guessing that's the problem oh ample due to infrastructure you're part of the infrastructure do something like that. It's so weird. It's so weird what the game does and doesn't allow. If I do that, let's say we're not auto building. If I do that, I do a road connection and I can do a footpath connection as well, hopefully. There we go. Connect you like so. Connect. Oh, I don't know. This connection. All right, well, let's cancel that a little bit, because what I can probably do is... Oh, wow. Building in the way 
Oh, there we go. It's a matter of finding that gap, I guess. Hook you up like so. Hook you up like so. No, you're not going to let me. That's fine, because what we can do is we can do that. So now all these people have access to this parking lot over here, which fits how many cars? Perpendicular parking, so it's not that many. Take a look at my mod. I think perpendicular parking is actually meant to be drive-through, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, cancel that. That's why it's got the road on both sides, I would imagine. Can't. Oh, goddamn. Why? Please connect. Okay, good. Well, actually, you know what? <laughs> Ironically, I actually don't want that to connect because that's where the perpendicular parking will go. Perpendicular. Oh, words. Okay, let's go ahead and demolish some of the... Oh, demolish you, demolish you. Don't need to go any further, I don't think. Pop this down over here. Oh, come on now. Come on now, game. We'll do the infrastructure. This is when you start to bother me a little bit. I'm do infrastructure. Alright, well, let's, uh. Light from center. I'm flatten you a little bit. That helps at all. Oh, we're so close. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can't do this. Flatten you if I. If an incline. Had a feeling. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Do that kind of a thing. Oh, that's not good. Not letting me connect anymore. Come on, game. You know you want to. You know you want to. Okay. Level height from here, then. Let's see if that does the trick. Come on. That's where this game sometimes. Alright. So that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. We just go back to what we had earlier. Or we can do underground parking over here. Underground parking fits how many cars? I think this one fits 32 cars, if I'm not mistaken. Can I pop you down over here, though, is the question. Sort of. There's definitely room here. Or maybe there isn't, and I'm just being desperate. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's how this game works. It feeds on your willingness to give up. If I pop you down over there, right? Get a road being built. It won't let me build that road there. Alright, alright. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry, right, I know it's dark right now. Bear with me here, folks. Bear with me here. As I try to get this underground parking in here somehow. While still allowing me to put my road down where I want it to be. Do that. And the road. Okay. Right. Just gotta smooth this out a little bit because I don't want it to look nasty. Rather it not look nasty. Alright, smooth this out a little bit if possible. Best we can do, I guess. Fair enough. It's the best we can do. It's the best we can do. Okay, there. We've got our underground parking over here, which we are going to connect like so. Can we? Oh, yes. Excellent. As long as we can do that. What I actually want to do is pull you down to there. Pull you over here. Hmm. Can't connect directly there. That's a bit of a bummer. Not a problem. Do that. And come on. That. There we go. So now these people have access to this parking lot, and the hope is that they will be taking their cars. To work. Well, at least some of them, not all of them. Now, can we get another parking garage or something down over here? Let's find out. 
Now, some of you were saying that they can only go 32. Oh, are these all drive through? I don't understand. Hmm. I think a lot of times these mods have their descriptions in like Russian or something in Cyrillic. So it's like, I don't even know where to begin to translate. I can't tell if this is a drive through or not. Perpendicular parking to me implies it would be, but this, I don't, I don't think this is. And the thumbnail doesn't even give me much information. So kind of, uh, let's, uh, I don't think putting it down would make it any clearer either. 32 cars over there. Not nearly enough. Smaller parking lot, maybe. Over here, if we can fit it. No. Come on, guys. Particular parking over here? No, of course not. Everything is too big. Underground parking, probably also a no. Just slightly a no. What about if we rotate? Yeah. Again, we have transit as well, and having people on transit's not, uh, not a bad idea. Actually, parking lots, do we not have regular in-game parking lots as well? You'd expect them to. Um, maybe it's under equipment for citizens. Bus platforms, but, oh, there we go. Large parking lot. Of course, it doesn't want to tell me how many it'll actually fit. This says it's large. Okay. Well, we can maybe fit at least a medium parking lot in here, perhaps. No. Not allowed, but I can get a small one in there. Large is definitely way too chunky. But a small parking lot, I will take. Let's see how many we can fit in here. Just the one, it seems, is the answer to that question. Smaller buildings, smaller parking spots. That's okay. So if I go ahead and put you down... Say over here. Wow, we gotta be able to flatten this or something. Come on now. We need to be able to fit more over here. No, no, no kidding. No kidding. And now we've lost our one spot that we had. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It, there it is. Wild. Kind of wild. Uh, Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Are we able to fit any playgrounds over here? Because a playground... No, I'm sorry. Not... Uh, yeah, playgrounds. Not sports playground. I guess it goes under kindergarten. The playgrounds double as kindergarten, so they can offload some of the pressure on our actual kindergartens. Mm, looks like this is too densely packed already. Well, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Go ahead and get the sidewalk connection over there. We have, what, 40 cars for 500 people or so being covered over here? Yikes. Might to add some more parking lots over there. Wondering, in fact, actually, if we want to add a... Um, one of those perpendicular parking spots over here. I won't be able to fit it. Too tightly packed. All right, cool. Progress over here. Pretty good, if I'm completely honest. More than I would have expected in progress over here. Kind of slowed down, but that's a given considering, you know, the uh, the construction offices are now focusing on some of these residential sec sectors. All right. Oh, you're trucking it back. This road needs to be upgraded, doesn't it? The answer to that question is yes. Uh, street lights and sidewalks. We're going to go ahead and auto build this. down to that refueling spot. Are we not? Oh, okay. I was just zoomed out too far. And then right down to here, and then up to here. Get all this done. I guess I shouldn't have done lights for this one. It would have made a nice rural road if it was actually dark. But now the path here is a little bit... Uh, we're going to get to at least well, once this is done, which it is now. Great. So, yeah, we're going to hopefully see this done soon. And then, yeah, get all those people working on the power plant, I think, is the next step. Rather than working on their own amenities, get them working on the power plant so we can start building uh, a power network over here. So they don't have to, you know, I don't know, walk to a nearby well somewhere or walk down to the river to pick up their water uh, and, and bathe and, and whatnot. I definitely want to get them there. Uh, Oh, hello, excuse me. Oh, mm, you're only for excavating and stuff, so you're fine right now. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's probably the next order of business, I would say. 
Uh, how are we looking over here? You Have you dropped any clothes off, perhaps? Maybe? That would make me very happy if you did. Nothing over there. 3.23 tons. At least clothes are kind of coming through now. I, I almost... Part of me just wants to ship 100 tons down here right now. But it's good to have a backlog, so to speak. Not a backlog, but, you know, a surplus. 2.3 tons. At least a bit more is coming through over here. Are there any other vehicles that come over here instead of... See, like you. Um, where are you right now? You shouldn't be coming to the warehouse. You should be going to this spot instead. Where is it? There. The load clothes. Stop pulling from the warehouse. There we go. That should help. And then same for... There's a, there's a few vehicles coming here. You are a train, so you're fine. You're supposed to come here. You guys go from the clothing factory to the warehouse, clothing, fabric factory to the warehouse. Alright, cool. There. So now hopefully the warehouse will have a bit more time to, to stock up so that the clothes can actually be sent down over there. Alright, okay. Pretty eventful episode, I would say. We made some good progress down over here. The rail construction office is up and running. As long as it gets workers, we are seeing you know some work get done, so that's good. Already a fair amount of... Uh, I would say a fair amount of work done over here. Next session, I think we're going to go double speed for all of it. Maybe most of it, at least. Uh, so we can see some of these things get built. Very excited to actually see these things get completed. And uh, yeah, we got to get uh, a hospital, a fire station. I need to... If you want to leave a comment to help me remember, that'd be great. But I got to get a fire station and a hospital for this area. And I got to figure out parking as well. I guess we need a lot more parking lots, don't we? Um, so I need to sort that out uh, pronto before I... Or I get too excited, but at least we're able to fit, like, I mean, surely we can fit another 800 people over here, so there you have it, 1,200. Easily we can fit over 2,000, maybe 3,000 people over here, which should be enough to, yeah, supply this for all three shifts. I gotta redo my math, maybe, but uh, if any of you have it off the top of your head already, or I'll reference the comments at the last session, but I'm pretty sure 3K should allow us to maintain this. And then, of course, we have this entire area that we're going to turn into residential as well. And geez, I mean, this upper area might need to become a whole city. And Brixtonia might actually... It's pretty cute. Brixtonia is a satellite city to this, but eventually it might just get swallowed up and be a part of whatever this ends up being. Folks, this is where we're going to call it a session, though. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. I'm really excited for the advancements we're making right now just south of Brixtonia. This is, uh, this is exciting times. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes such a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Uh, apart from that, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya. Yeah.